I do some fun. Armstrong Nebula. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. I'm on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Okay, this is by far the longest quest or well, side quest I've done. I'm going to be doing so far. I will be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. And like I was saying before we get started on this next one. I want to go down here. Because, well, there's something down here we want to get. In fact, let me see if there's any new weapons inside my locker. Because I, I, if I remember correctly, it resets every once in a while. <sighs> cool. And what do you know? I'm doing this at the right time. We're almost at the 150 item limit. Yeah. You might feel kind of Yeah. So, now, we are going to be going down on one of the slowest elevators in the game. At least the other elevator. Just, I don't know. I don't know anymore. These elevators are so slow. <sighs> so terribly slow. Oh well. I'm going to be just skipping through the conversation with this guy because all he Commander. basically is is a freaking Looking store supplies. Yeah, pay well, you. Okay. So. Yeah, this is where you can get your freaking weaponry. Which. It's very useful. Look how many, many credits we have, and look at how much I'm going to be selling. All this stuff. Let's see if we can at least get the assault rifle of the Spectre weapons. Who knows? We might get lucky. Though I, I, the way this is going, I highly doubt it right now. All right, no, we might have just gotten it. Yes. Just keep selling. Just keep selling. Just keep selling and looking for stuff I need. The only things I really want to keep are the um. Yeah, we want to keep that. That's good. What are you? I can go. Okay, keep the energizer weave. And then, look at this. Let's buy ourselves the assault rifle. Because that's what we need. And then while we're at it, let's buy ourselves the pistol as well. And there we go. We just got some good weapons right now. If we can equip that. Oh yeah, we are now going to be so OP. You guys will see what I mean when I when I start showing you how, why, how and why I think it's OP. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Then Don't I want to go to you and sell the rest of the stuff I have. Do 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 do. Okay. We now have two of the Spectre weapons. There's only two more to go, and we'll be getting those later at a later time. For right now, though. We have more side quests to go to against the Geth. The Geth, the Geth, the Geth. <sighs> Hurt me now. These are going to be long. This is going to be a long side quest. Trust me on that. I'm also hoping that since I'm doing the side quests, it doesn't go over 99 parts because of the way I'm doing the numbering system inside this one. Okay, so, to the galaxy map. <sighs> yep, surveying. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to be going around surveying all the planets, as is routine. And eventually we're going to find the planet that we can land on. So, you know, may as well survey all the planets. This is probably the one we have to, nope, okay, good. Survey all the planets, get a little bit of XP out of it, you know. May as well completely worth it. I don't know why I was that. Ryingra. Ryingri. Whatever. I don't know. We're going in there. We're gonna have some fun. Killing some Geth. Getting some XP. Yeah, there's only. Wow. Okay. Whatever. 
I, I don't know what I was going to say. Here we go. If I remember correctly, this is Tali's side quest as well. Once you complete this side quest, you get an item that you can give to Tali to help her on her pilgrimage that she spoke of at the very beginning of the game and this on the Citadel. So, let's go to the map. Debris, get over an outpost anomaly. Okay, so we're going to go to debris first. Okay, that's a really weird setup how they have it set up. Oh no! Okay, no one. I know for a fact I don't necessarily like all of the, um, all of the maps for, um, um, technically the maps, all the planets for this side quest. I don't really like the idea of freaking traversing planets to begin with. You can see how dull and boring this is. I guess I'm just gonna be teleporting to where we need to go. See you guys there. Alright, here we are at the first point we need to go to. Stopping, and we're gonna be looking at this thing right now. Let's salvage it. Do, 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 do. That worked out perfectly. And then the next point we're gonna be going to is right there. So I'll be seeing you guys when we get there. <gasps> okay, I found a mineral over there, as you can see on the map, before we even get to the outpost. So we're gonna go there first. Why? Because, well, it's there on the map. Okay, so... Since I found it, I might as well try to find something to talk... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up this crap on top. Yup. Yup, 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 Crap. Crap. Stop doing your weird flips, Mako. Doop. Nice, clean landing. Like a boss. Okay, that was easy. Now I will be seeing you guys back at the one point since I'm probably going to be driving around. Maybe not, let's see. Maybe we can get lucky and just go right through here, right through this valley. <laughs> one of my um, friends. I, yeah, it was one of my friends. I was. We started listening to the song that says, like, ain't no valley low enough, well, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough. And I had to explain to her, because she was like, going, I, I never understood that. And I was like, going, ain't no mountain high enough, like, you know, ain't valley low, like, you know, low valley. She didn't really understand that. I was like, going, lovely. So I kind of had to explain that, and I was just like, going, ugh. You gotta be kidding me. And both things right now, present tense and past. Ah, wow. Come on, you can climb up here. Go on, Mako. Good job. Oh, if you seriously can't go up that slope, after going up the other slope, I would be so aggravated. So this isn't the way we're supposed to get up here, but we got up here this way anyways. Okay. So I guess we're going in here. Do, 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 do. Do probably should have saved it. Let me do that right now. Because I don't want to get screwed over. Because, <laughs> you know, if I get screwed over and have to do those two things again, it's so time consuming. It just isn't worth it. The checkpointing system inside this game is garbage. They did a definitely good job on the second and third one in checkpoint wise. Though I do have to. One of my friends, who I, um, I think I might have mentioned, I did the Resident Evil 5 videos with him. We're not done with it yet, I need to get him together so we can do this. He, um, freaking, he plays the game now, and he freaking, <laughs> it's hilarious. He was like, oh, I hate Mass Effect, and then, you know, within the next day, he's playing it. Oh, Husk. Oh, lovely. Take out the shotgun. Husk are not fun. But yeah, he's play he has even bought Mass Effect 3 freaking like the third day after its release. So yeah, he's definitely into the series now. He likes it. I still am with some of his ideas that he has dropped out. And he still does think it's not really an RPG because it's not really And he was like saying, Oh my god, when he his first response to Mass Effect 1 when he's played, he was like, Oh my god. 
I didn't realize how much it is, how much, well, let me phrase it, I didn't realize how similar it was to Jade Empire, I was like going, well, man, because, you know, this is a guy who freaking spent the past, let's see, since 2007, he spent since 2007 hating Mass Effect, and then 2012, he begins to like Mass Effect. And he plays through Mass Effect 1 and 2 within like two weeks. And did most of the side quests in them, if I remember correctly. Just so he can be ready for 3. And buys 3 a little bit after launch. So, you know, he put time into it. He's now into the series. I don't even know what the hell we're doing in here. What are we doing in here? Just killing a bunch of husks? Oh, there was Gaff! I forgot about that. I forgot we were fighting Gaff. Because we haven't seen any yet. We really forgot that's what this side quest was. What's over here? More stuff to open, okay. That way we have more stuff to sell. Ha 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 ha, make more money, ha 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 ha. It's so ridiculous how much money in Omni Jar you can make. This game is overly easy, really. Except for like the fights, I, I'm not good at the fighting in it at all. That's why I'm spending time doing the side quests and leveling stuff up so I can be ready for a few select fights. Okay. Good job, Tali. Geft are everywhere. They're everywhere. Come on, man. No sniping for you. Okay, thanks, we're done. One outpost. Yep. I just got done saying that, Dolly. Thank you. Well, that's one done here now. With one done, it should update our journal when we walk out. Yep, this is where they drop. Okay, never mind. Alright, rocket trooper. Gotta get rid of them fast. Uh, was somewhat. I don't know. They brought back the rocket troopers inside freaking three, and I was like, going, no. I think I don't remember them being in two, but they might have. Gotta kill them all. All these effects. Okay, good. Yep, that's. Ah, oh, gotta. Fighting's over. Oh yeah, freaking. We have something else to go do, anyways. Go check out the anomaly. <sighs> okay, so the anomaly is that way. Stop getting stuck on the dragon's teeth. W, how the hell did that even happen? Climb on top of the building then. Do the, what the? That's why I don't like the Mako. Or the physics revolving around it. WTF, man. What the hell? That was the weirdest departure I've seen so far inside this playthrough. I've seen stuff like that before when I've played through it as a maker, but freaking hell. That is new. That is totally new. All the flipping and the bopping and the catching Pokemon. What do kids like to play Pokemon? See you guys there. Uh, see you guys there. Alright, here we are at the scheduled anomaly, and there is a material we want to get up here, actually. Let's go get it. Okay, I'll keep it keep it under control, man. Keep it under control, man. Okay. Let's take the survey. You know, freaking, uh, we're taking a survey right now. Yep, done. I'm gonna be so rich by the end of this game. I can take this game. Freaking, I'm gonna have like so many monies. It's gonna be ridiculous. It's so easy to just make money inside this game. Okay. Not flat enough. There we go. Ah, uh, crashed escape pod. Cover artifact. Dude, 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 dude. That was easy. 
Alright, so now we are done with this area, right? Yep, done with this area. Now on to the next system that's going to have the next thing with the geth and the next and the next and the next. Yeah, extremely repetitive, I know, but I'm trying to cut out as much as possible.